maths teacher and writer. Bobby Siegel is here to tell us what's caught his eye. Now, you set us a maths I quiz did, did. about ten past six, wasn't it? So, but we're going to wait until the end to give away the answer. OK. okay. Roger got it pretty quickly. Well, he's good. He's really There's good. There's a lot of people have got it this morning. Uh, you're, you, we've just been talking, of course, to, uh, to Peter Shilton about Martin Peters. Lots of reflection. That news was announced around five o'clock yesterday afternoon, so... Um, lots of reflection in the papers today, including the Mail on Sunday. Yeah, so again, like, it, you know, there were 11 players in that first team. Um, we've had the passing of Ray Wilson last year. We had Gordon Banks passing away this year. And again, he did that magnificent save against Pele. And as a West Ham fan, this is a particularly uh, poignant story. And I think they're still iconic figures in English and British sporting history. And next year, hopefully, we might have our own new heroes. The, world, the sort of the European Championship finals are in Wembley. So we could have Kane, Sterling, Maguire being the new likes of Moore, Hurst and Peters. Mm -hmm. I love your optimism. Optimism, yeah, Mr Seagull's always optimistic. <laughs> they, they were, um, as, as you mentioned, those three West Ham players, we saw the photograph of, of the three of them, Jeff Hurst, Bobby Moore and uh, Martin Peters, were, were so integral to, to that, that yes. amazing day, or oh, that amazing yeah. tournament. As a Hammer fan, I always say we've won a World Cup, West Ham. That's right, West Ham won the World Cup, that's <laughs> what they say. A reference to how he celebrated a cuppa with his wife, and that's what Peter Shilton was just saying. And, you know, the celebrations were very understated there, weren't they? He was a real gentleman, by all accounts. Um, let's have a look at the Sunday Times. Schools lock up pupils' phones for holidays. Are they allowed to do that? So this, OK, this is a voluntary scheme, uh, a digital drop-off drop scheme where schools encourage parents and children to leave their smartphones, tablets, Xboxes at school. And one of the schools leading this, pioneering, is um, the Michaela Community School, headed by the formidable Catherine Burble Singh. And her school mm -hmm. is sort of dubbed as the strictest school in Britain and very traditional, but the result this year, first our GCs were, were phenomenal. And one of the most telling things is, if you look at the big tech bosses, like Mark Zuckerberg, he wrote a letter to his unborn child. And the letter, the quote says, um, one day uh, you'll be older and you'll be busy, so I hope you take the time to smell flowers. So he's going to restrict the use of technology with his own child, and he's the head of Facebook. So that tells you something. You know, Bobby, you'll know better than most because you're a teacher. For parents, it's really <coughs> tricky to know where the sweet spot is, where you make sure they're up to date with technology, yeah. that, that could, because it is the way things are now, but not to overindulge them. I'm trying to it's find hard. A, it's the balance, because I would say we live in a world where we're more connected than ever, but at the mm -hmm. same time, we're almost less connected, because all we're doing is messaging virtually, but not actually having that face-to-face -face contact. Now, this is an interesting one. I'll show you the, the front page and then I'll hold up the, the inside bit. This is... Which one's this one from? Where's, where's this? This from the Observer magazine. From the Observer magazine. Sorry, Richard. Which Christmas movie are you, is the question. And it's uh, some kind of a psychological look into what you say. I'll just hold this other bit up. This is the inside bit where they talk about all the different, different films. Go on. Yes. So, actually, the type of Christmas film you like reveals a lot about your personality. Uh, so first thing I need to put on the table is I'm very upset that Home Alone 2 is not on, the, on this. Like, <laughs> I mean, we all what have, does that say about have, you? Why Home Alone 2 and what about Home Alone 1? The iconic moment, like, Kevin, where's he gone? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Kevin in New York is, for me, my all-time number one. Is, is it? it? Yeah. I, maybe it's Nostal very popping to me, which isn't on the list, but maybe my second favourite is on the list, Love Actually. So what does that say you're, you're Apparently you're an old romantic, so oh, harking back yeah. to yeah. a better time. <laughs> <laughs> for everyone. Before oh. marriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, it's, it's fascinating. Yeah. Apparently, Die Hard, if you claim that Die Hard is your favourite Christmas film, you don't actually believe it. You're just trying to be controversial, according to this. We all know people Oh, Matt, like trying to be macho, and it's a wonderful life. It's actually quite sinister, isn't yeah. it? You think it's romantic. It is. Again, there's again, the themes of attempting suicide. Yeah. But it's one of those films that people want to say is their favourite. Almost like people say, oh, Austin or Dickens is my favourite novel, and actually, they've probably not read it. For some reason, it's all worth it for the last five minutes, it though, is, isn't it, when he gets his wings. Dense. We ended up with a, a, a DVD of the Santa Claus. It's one with the E, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly, Santa with the E on the end. Yeah, I love that, actually. You're still watching DVDs in the Johnson Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. We'll get in the 21st century one, though. Um, and just, um, Bobby, let's, let's talk about this, this quiz that you set for us an hour ago. Yes, so it's a... Remind us of the question. So it's a puzzle based on uh, my book, The Life-Changing Magic of Numbers. So it was a Strictly Come Dancing Christmas special. So Motsi and Shirley... Uh, both give a score double that of Craig. Okay. The average mean score for the dance is six. Okay. And Bruno gives a score of nine. Okay. What was Craig's score? Okay. So, do you want to tell us the answer, or do you want to tell us the workings? Well, and then well, well, I was very impressed. Roger, yeah. Having done it so. Well, I'll tell you how I did it. Yeah. You you said the total was twenty four. So sorry. So the mean was six. Yeah. So I times that by four. So Perfect. the total number of votes was twenty four. Good one, Mark. Working out. So Bruno gave a nine. 
So that left 15, if you Too take much. that off. Good. And then, I'm sure cleverer people than me would have done some sort of, so, some sort of an equation, but I just kind of worked it out, that it's um, two sixes for the two, yes. Motsi and Shirley, and Craig's is half, which is three. So six and six and three is 15. You're still with us, people. Yeah. So the answer was three. Yeah, brilliant. So again, it's one of the things where you can do by trial and improvement, the second part. That's the way yes. I Or you can set up algebra. You could have said Craig's score is C, so Motsi and Shirley's scores are 2C. So C plus 2C plus 2C is 5C. 5C, 5C equals the remaining score of 15. Got it. Yeah. That was, that, see, that's the, that's the mathematician's way. But, but still, you got it. I always say with students, as long as you can get there, I, you know, the method is not as important. What's key yeah. is like you actually have a process of getting to the Yeah, my solution. method was always go with one number, and if it's so, wrong, so then So we need to be really quick because you're going to set us another one. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So Are you going to tweet this out as I'll well? I'll tweet right? this out as well. Okay, go on. So Santa Claus is travelling to attend BBC Four's Christmas lecture on Boxing Day. Okay. Here's a bit. Mrs. Claus travels separately. Santa starts at 6 p.m. and flies on his sleigh at 100 miles an hour. Yeah. Mrs. Claus starts 30 minutes later. 6.30, yeah. And flies at 150 miles an hour. OK. Good girl. At what time will they cross each other? <laughs> Not in terms of... Just re read that again okay. really quickly for people at home. Yeah. So, um, Santa starts at 6 p.m. Yeah. and flies on his sleigh at 100 miles an hour. OK. Yeah. Mrs. Claus starts 30 minutes later and flies at 150 miles an hour. At what time will Does they... Does she overtake? So overtake. Okay. Okay. OK, that's great. Right, that will be on our Twitter very shortly if you want to have another look at it. Thank, Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. We'll Thank give you the answer on the news channel at uh, 20 past seven, uh, 20 past 8.